Hey guys, a Thunder E here, and this is the video you've been waiting for because you want to know which should you buy, the Xbox Series S or the Xbox Series X? Now, Microsoft has finally announced everything in terms of pricing and availability for their consoles. We'll be launching November 10th for both the Series S and the Series X with pre-orders on September 22nd. So that's literally around the corner, right? So let's look at both consoles. The Series S is priced at $299 and the Series X is priced at $499. And you're going, okay, look, should I just get the more expensive one or should I just go with the uh, cheaper one? Because I'm not sure. Well, it's a very simple process, I think is what Microsoft is trying to put here for everyone. So the, the Xbox Series X is focused on 4K gaming at either 60, 120 frames per second, and even 8K as well, which is what they claim. While the Series S is aimed at 1440p, so 2K gaming, uh, with upscaling up to 4K and also up to 120 frames per second. Now, when you look at both consoles side by side and you look at the specs, they are not that different if you really think about it. So they have the same, um, you know, they have the same Zen 3 uh, CPU. It's an eight core, 3.8 gigahertz, uh, custom AMD chipset, seven nanometer. Where they differ is the GPU. The GPU on the Series X is 12 teraflops. On the Series uh, S, it's actually four teraflops. And again, the clock speeds are slightly different as well. Now, when it comes to RAM though, they've got 16 gigabytes of DDR6 RAM on the Series X, on the Series S, is 10 gigabytes of DDR6 RAM. Still a lot of RAM for both consoles, honestly, because they're both targeting up to 220 frames per second. Resolution, of course, differs here. 8K for the Series X and uh, 1440p for the Series S. There is no optical drive on the Series S. There is an optical Blu-ray drive uh, on the Series, of course, X. And in terms of storage, one terabyte of storage on the Series S, uh, on the Series X, which is, of course, the specialized NVMe, uh, and as as well as also the same specialized NVMe, but 500 gig, 512 gigabytes of that on the Series S. Now you can expand that with expandable storage, which will still have the same speeds and capabilities. So it's quite interesting to see that here. And now you're thinking, okay, what should I actually get, right? If you're looking to spend and you are a hardcore gamer, you wanna go out for all the 4K games, you know what, go ahead get the Xbox Series X. But if you are one who, look, you know what, you're not gonna update your TV, uh, you like the way your gaming is now, but you wanna go to next gen, then this is, the, this is the best way to jump to something else with the Xbox Series S. Because here's the truth, guys, right? In terms of gaming right now, to achieve 4K60 has been a very hard task, especially on PC games. Um, doing that with the, the RTX 2080 Ti, uh, getting past 60 frames per second is really not that easy, especially on a massive screen size like a 65 inch or even a 55 inch TV. Um, so that is something to actually take note. What the Series S brings to the table is giving you something that can definitely do that at 1080p and also at 2K and upscaling to 4K becomes much easier and it definitely does look nicer. To give you some perspective, the newly announced RTX 3070 graphics card from Nvidia for PC games, which is geared at 2K gaming, is priced at 500 bucks. That's the same price as the Xbox Series X. So I would suggest that, look, the Xbox Series S might be the better console to actually fit the target that you are looking for in terms of that, because uh, 4K and 8K gaming is going to be a hard task, but getting to those frames per second at 120 frames per second is something that makes more sense, and I think a lot of gamers will experience all the way through. So at least for me, my pick for a lot of people uh, day to day, I think might be the Xbox Series S. The Xbox Series X is still gonna be a really powerful console. I like what it offers and I'm gonna get that myself. But I think for a lot of people, that might not be the way to go. Now, Microsoft did also announce one more thing, Xbox All Access, which is quite interesting and gives you a lot more uh, with Xbox All Access. So if you wanna pick up either the Series S or the Series X and you don't want to pay for it, you can go with your financing plan with Xbox All Access, which gives you a, a really cool uh, feature. So it's no money down, there's no interest rate, so you're not paying, but they will run a credit check, so be aware of that. Uh, but that gives you the Xbox Series S for $25 a month 
for 24 months, as well as combined with two years of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, as well as also with the Xbox Series X, it is $35 a month, giving you two for two years, uh, with of course two years of Xbox Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which comes out to the same price price of paying for actually both. It's not more expensive or less expensive either way. What's cool also with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, they just announced today, is that you will get a uh, hundred, you know, over a hundred games on your console access, access to over a hundred uh, Xbox games as well as on your PC and the cloud. Plus, uh, you now have access to EA Play or EA um, uh, Origin on PC, which means that you have access to over 60 EA titles. I'm talking about the new Star Wars game that came out uh, last year. I'm talking about all the Madden, the FIFA, all those games. Uh, I'm talking about the next Battlefield that will be coming out. So you have access to that directly from your Xbox or Xbox Game Pass. So I think that is a truly great deal. If you're budget conscious, the Xbox Series S is for you. But if you, uh, but oh, no. So if three, two, one, go. So if you're budget conscious, conscious, the Xbox Series S is for you and also the Xbox All Access uh, payment plan will probably work best. And if you're also one that cares more about frame rates and less about resolution, the Xbox Series S is the console for you. Just remember this guys, both consoles will give you next gen gaming experiences with faster load times, uh, also will give you higher frame rates. The difference is resolution. One is targeted at 4K, one is targeted at 2K resolution. That is literally the difference here with both consoles altogether. So if you are the one, of course, who wants 4K gaming, 8K, uh, all the high-end stuff, then the Xbox Series X is the console for you. But there you have it, guys. I will say for most people, Xbox Series S, that's the one to go for. It's cheaper and also will hit all the targets and will work well with your current TV right there. So if you have any questions, any comments, guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and... Always enjoy your entertainment.